But you all know that I was saying did not have WMDs. Come on, guys. Bunch of bull. Hello and welcome back to Random Honest Reviews. I'm Michael. And he's Mike and I'm Sunderman. Uh, we just saw American Sniper. Wasn't that much sniper fights there. No. A little bit at the start, and then nothing, and then a little bit at the end. Most uh, deadly sniper. Yeah, most deadly sniper. Pretty uh, effective guy, you could say. Yeah. Anyways, this is a uh, <coughs> biographical uh, war action thriller movie. Based on a true story, apparently. Yeah, and uh, uh, actually it was Steven Spielberg who was going to direct this movie, but uh, he didn't get his amazing budget that he wanted. The mo this movie's budget is 60 million, I think. Just not enough money. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh, it was the Mr. Clint Eastwood who took on the role of the director of this movie. What was your initial thoughts after the movie? Did you like it? Uh, it's... It's, a, it's difficult with this because I think it jumps too much. Yeah, me as and well. And a lot of things are poorly established. Yeah, and uh, they <coughs> focus very much on the uh, Chris Kyle, uh, Bradley Cooper's character. So much that you don't know anyone else. Yeah. And I think every dialogue with his wife, at the beginning it is the... They're teasing each, each other and uh, flirting, mm -hmm. and then they're oh, I love you, I love you, <coughs> and then everything's perfect. Yeah, everything's right? perfect, and then it's the same dialogue with them every time when he's in the war, and then he comes back. It's the same dialogue, just mixing up the words, but it's the same conflict every time. Like he's not opening his, himself to his wife, yeah. and his wife <laughs> is reacting like, oh, you shouldn't go back to the but war. That, that started the first uh, after the first tour. When you come home, yeah. home. And I, I thought at that point it was so poorly established. Yeah. At that point that he's distant from uh, the real world when yeah. he's home. It was like, not until he was sent back again. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, that's, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, and you don't know how much time as... I don't know the timeline of this movie. No. It's just one time you see the date, and that's at the end. And yeah. uh, just before everything before that, you have to get told like small details, like oh, so thousand days or something like that. You just don't know yeah, how much time has gone by. <clears throat> he's down there, and you don't have a sense of time. No, there everything there that happened there could be like two or three days. Yeah, and then you just <laughs> that's a funny thing. The first time when he goes home. Uh, he says, but I'm going home in three weeks. And a guy tells him, it's gonna be a hell of a long three yeah. weeks. And, and the then the next clip is, oh, he's <laughs> home! <laughs> oh, that, that, was, that was quick. <laughs> that was not long! <laughs> the tone was more or less consistent, but at one point, you see the clips of 9 11 <clears throat> on the TV. Yep. And then it jumps to their telling each other, I love you, I love you. It's a happy, like, sad, tragic event, 9 11. Suddenly it's like, but right after that, they're, they're not dwelling into that that concept. No. Just, just jumping right to, I love you, I love you. They're getting married, and then suddenly everything's good, and then suddenly he's, okay, am I going to shoot this kid or what? Am I going to shoot this kid or what? And then suddenly something else, just... Her arms aren't swinging, she's carrying something. Did you think they were just... Yeah, it was just, establish this. Oh. Dude, we have to establish this too. Throw it in there. Yeah, and, <laughs> and just every, everything was like there was so many different feelings, tones, and themes yeah. during a span of four minutes. It's trying uh, to establish a lot of things. Yeah, it's, it's not necessarily good flow either. And like I said, you don't and know any of the characters, any of the characters other than uh, Bradley's Cooper characters, because uh, when 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 some of the characters get killed. 
you're not like, oh man, that was sad. And I, I know this is a, this is a biographical event. I know that this <laughs> this yeah. has happened. I'm not saying that I don't care when people die in a war, but as a movie, I don't no disrespect to anyone, but as a movie. I'm not driven into the emotional, uh, uh, tragic events that goes on in this movie. Yeah. No offense. And when it comes to character development in this movie, it's not so much a development <laughs> as a jump. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, you know, he's this uh, guy that got his feet on the ground and he's in this world and yeah. all that shit. And then it's just, oh, now, no, now he's completely distant from everything yeah. and he's this damaged guy and that's the way it stays. Yeah, the uh, until the end it's like <laughs> now it's good. And yeah. that, that might be true, I don't know, but it just didn't work in this movie for me. No, for me neither, it's just these, these jumps. And yeah. I mean, the first jump, that I guess that can happen. Just after what you've seen and yeah. everything that you just were distant. But at the end that you just... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I, but I think... Uh, this movie does a lot of things that other war movies or war miniseries like Battle Brothers and Pacific do, but they don't do it as well. Because they're trying to feed you, like, they're telling you, shoving it in your face, that look how damaging it can be after war, and I can understand, of course your yeah. mind is going to be fucked up, but it's very subtle, subtle in, uh, like, Battle of Brothers. There's a man who's... Uh, just try uh, a man has been in the war and he's writing something on his typewriter and it sounds like a gun gun firing so it's like punching and then you see a flashback and it's like then it goes on again and you initially get the feeling okay he's, he's fucked up and yes, just here, more details but here's here it's more shoving it in your face more, yeah in your face yeah. like people showing you pictures of their kids yeah <laughs> yeah it is so so look much. at it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's more like that yeah I got a military age male uh, on a cell phone watching the convoy over. If you think he's reporting troop movement, you have a green light. Your call, over. Maybe he's just calling his old lady. I mean, American Sniper. He's only sniping during his first tour, really. <laughs> and not yeah. The yeah, 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 pretty and much. And the rest is not really a sniper. No. And, uh, and when he's told that he's the most deadly sniper in US history yeah. <laughs> is like dude this guy has been sniping for like half a year <laughs> <laughs> he's been so he sniped for one tour and then he just became oh. a grand soldier yeah and every action scene i was never into any of the action scenes and i think the sniper scenes i mean some of them were so effective but i think mm -hmm. it was the same thing all every single time uh, was there anything you liked uh, I like the sniper scenes, at least to begin with. But as you said, it it's a lot of the same. Yeah. And it's very <laughs> difficult to not make it a lot of the same. Yeah. Because <laughs> that guy on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> aiming. Aiming, and he don't miss. So yeah. yeah. Um, he's like the legless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the US military. Yeah. It's not a stormtrooper. But this, uh, he's, this guy no, is not absolutely not a stormtrooper. <laughs> um, and, and maybe that's why they had to... Uh, I don't know how literal this story is. No, no, I don't know. As opposed to the real story. No. But that might have been why they, you know, made him more infantry division. Yeah, 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 because they didn't because want to repeat the same what sequences. The what the hell are you going to do for two hours if he's just going to snipe? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I was thinking that as well. But, but I, I mean, it, it, this... This fact may as, may be part of the true story. I don't know. No, I, I'm just judging the judging this material as a movie. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying. And to. I, I guess it's harder to make an exciting action movie when you're following a true story. Yeah, I would at least think so, <laughs> because yeah, you can do whatever you want. No, and I heard that the, his wife was very involved in how everything was portrayed. I mean, at least with uh, the scenes with uh, Bradley Cooper and his wife. Which was, in my opinion, 
this is one of the most boring parts of the movie. Yeah, I, I don't know actually. It didn't really feel that real to me. Hold on, I got a woman and a kid 200 yards out moving towards the convoy. They focus so much on his character that every other character was just there. Like every other character was written the same, mm -hmm. except for him. Every other character, you, 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 <clears throat> you couldn't distinguish with any of the other characters. I, I don't know, I didn't get to know anyone else, but uh, I think Bradley Cooper played very well in yeah. this movie. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, the wife played okay, but you know, the dialogue, was, everything, it, like like we said, it was the same freaking shit every time. The wife was so un uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you've seen the first maybe 30 or 40 minutes of the movie, they repeat that. They repeat the same thing every yeah. time. Every, every time, every, it's every time it's on the tour, it is the same thing. Yeah, same when he gets home. Yeah, and you know they they're repeating the same formula it's, it's, every time. It's slightly more different when he's on tour than when he's home. Yeah, but because I, when he's home, they could just basically film one sequence and repeat it <laughs> between yeah. the tours. Yeah, and, but I think they could establish this uh, vengeance saga a little bit better. Yeah, you mean uh, against the... Um... The older sniper. I think he, that was just a guy who was there, like a pain in the ass, <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> just a pain in the ass. But, and uh, you can see that is he grows tired of, the, of, of having to kill all of these people. Yeah. You can see he's like, don't, don't, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, he, yeah. is, he doesn't want to do it, he just feels the need to do it. Uh, there was... Not that many American flags, actually. I was thinking the same thing. I mean, and that's after, kind of impressive. After seeing 12 minutes of Transformers, there's basically maybe 15 flags. I said at least. Uh, apart from, you know, just this flag on their uh, military clothes. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, that's but just... I, I, I think I noticed two or three freaking flags. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's, that's, that's pretty... That's decent. That's enough. credits. Yeah, uh, I because was thinking the same thing. Transformers doesn't understand this. <laughs> no, and uh, if there is a movie that, you know, um, <clears throat> has the right to have American flags, it is a movie about the American sniper based on the yeah, very true story. This has more of a reason to put American oh, flags than Transformers. Transformers. Transformers is just a bunch of bull. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah, she's got a grenade. She's got an RKG Russian grenade. She's saying to the kid. You say a woman and a kid? You got eyes on this? Can you confirm? Negative. Your call. So, uh, the movie is... I think it's... Overall, it's fine. It's not... Great. <laughs> I, I realize I say that about a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, it's... I think it's hard to call it either bad or good because it's pretty average. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what annoys me the annoyed me the most was these sudden jumps between his tours and being home. Mm. There's no, no smooth <laughs> transitions no. at all. They just okay. and and when there's you, you never see it coming. No, and when there's no timeline, like any dates coming up here and there, you don't get a sense of how he's evolving, how much time is. It's gone through. Yeah, is this, gone by. It's just like, look, is this two or three days later? Is it a year later? I don't yeah. fucking know. No. It's so, hard yeah. to tell. That's um, probably one of the most annoying things. Oh. I think it's wife. It's just. You never really connect with her at all, mm. I feel. It's just. Super average. And when you're, <laughs> when you're super average and trying to convey emotions and this stuff it rarely works. Yeah. That's the problem. And this of course these very, very sudden gaps in the character development. Yeah. The jumps. Yeah. Which was like Oh he's oh, like that now. Okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> Just it takes some time to get back into the movie. Yeah. Overall I will not watch it again. No. 
I'll give it 6.5. I mean, this is very hard because, yeah, Bradley Cooper is a great actor, but other than that, this movie has nothing going for it. There was. Mm, I don't think there's, there was anything memorable about this uh, film. And like I said, in, uh, in Battle of Brothers, one of the main characters kills a teenage boy. And uh, he's looking at this kid when he's killing him. And the kid is looking at him, and the kid is actually smiling for some reason. And he just <laughs> kills the Nazi. And he gets little bits and pieces flashback, like... <laughs> but he never talks about it. Mm -hmm. Just small bits and you're like, okay, <clears throat> this man is affected by this war. He will never get used, to, he will never adapt to civilization like he has before. Something is wrong with him, it doesn't feel like home anymore and stuff like that. But here, like I said, they tried to shove it in your face a little bit too much. He did, you know, it, I think it would be more effective with just some small flashback, like, and he, him just looking a bit... Uh, uh, sad or something like that, mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, but I, uh, none of the action sequences were necessarily bad, but they were not good. I was, <laughs> they, they were not intense. I was not into them. There was never a point. I was like, oh yeah. Overall, did not like it. Did not hate it. Will never watch it again because I was overall bored. I was waiting for the movie to be over. Uh, I mean. Um I mean the story being a bit messy and not that exciting always and such. I will, I will accommodate a bit for that because it's a biographical and yeah. it's hard to really tweak what happens. Yeah. So it's I'm, I'll be a bit lenient on that. Yeah. But it's, it it is a movie. You know? Yeah, it is. It has to work as a movie. <laughs> yeah. If but it, it, I I just saying if this wasn't biographical, is if this was just fiction. Yeah. They could have done a lot more made it a lot more with suspense and more great action. Yeah. But it's not so you can't do whatever you want. No. I don't know. I agree. It's hard. I think I have to yes. go with the... Uh, 5.5. <laughs> okay. Because it's a bit more harsh than Yeah, me. because I don't know. This movie does not insult your intelligence. The direction is good. The dialogue is... Man... Bradley Cooper is great, and I actually think that the wife, although I think it was the same dialogue all of the freaking time, I think the wife gave some bit of fresh air sometimes, because I actually thought that the Thor thing was kind of boring sometimes, but like I said, the dialogues between him and his wife after he's been on the first tour, they repeat the same shit every time. It's not interesting. It's not good. But I think it's I not think, uh, really much dialogue either because he doesn't speak much. No. <laughs> but I think the actress did what she could with the yeah, sure. with the, the yeah. And like I said, so you don't care about the characters either because you don't get to know anyone else but Bradley Cooper. So <clears throat> yeah, this has been random honest reviews. I know this review may seem a little bit pointless because you guys in America. This movie came out one week ago, so you won't bother to watch what two uh, incompetent Norwegian has to say about this movie. Or two Norse gods, as we were called. Two Norse by, gods, yeah. By one guy. Yeah, that, that was cool. I like that title. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but uh, you will eventually get more rants. Uh, Man of Steel is next. Yay, us. <laughs> try to make it a bit shorter. Shorter, yep. maybe. And then you will get Grim Fandango and uh, GTA 5 and uh, Tale of Two Sons. Yes. Uh, playthroughs. My random honest rage gaming. And then. Um, we will do the whole. I mean, GTA, will, we're not going to do the whole game. No, it's <laughs> on, only online. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I don't know how long Grim Fandango is. It, I don't think we have to do the whole thing. I think no, okay. we'll, we'll see. Yeah. And uh, the, the thing tale of two sounds, I think we might do the whole thing because I don't think it's too long. I think it's two and a half hours at maximum. Yeah, so we'll do the whole thing there oh. in a couple of episodes or something. Uh, and as always, I am Groot. No, you're not. No. Yeah, okay. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Or remember to subscribe and. Um, Facebook and stuff. And uh, what did you forget now?
I said I'm Groot that was supposed to be live a good life. Okay, yeah. so it's interpretations now. Sometimes when I use this t-shirt, I am Groot is live a good life. Okay, that's open for interpretation. Yeah. They fry you if you're wrong. <laughs>